Hello everyone and welcome to uh, my new game series. We'll be playing through Hades. Uh, I decided to do this uh, game because it looked like a lot of fun from when I seen people play it. I have played roguelikes in the past and uh, isometric games, uh, isometric brawlers like this I guess uh, as well. So it seemed like it'd be really fun. Uh, what I'll probably be doing is um, not, not going through, not recording and showing every single run, but uh, just the ones that have some interesting progress. They'll probably be uh, edited on quite a bit because, given the nature of roguelikes, um, uh, it's all about replayability, um, dying and starting over from scratch. So, uh, not every run's going to be something uh, worth watching. But this is my you very first time. I haven't played this game at all yet. So, it'll be something to check out. It should be interesting. Reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, Father. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, to hell with this place. I, I, I like the art style. To hell with this place. Haha, <laughs> you get it because it's it's hell. Uh, anyway, <laughs> not exactly what you think of when you think of hell, but. Uh, Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to get a feel for what all the buttons do. I can kill all these ghosts for uh, some reason. <laughs> they don't seem to uh, bother me at all, but screw it. Also, uh, amazing. Uh, so, the environment thus far is insanely uh, interactable. It's very cool. keeps fixing that. Alright, so, uh, I noticed when I saw some, some people playing this game that uh, various doors will have different types of icons on them. And I'm not sure what they all mean, but uh, they apparently are important to keep track of. And I'm not quite sure what this little, uh, what the thing I'm throwing out here is. You know, so when I do that, I can charge it up and, and throw it at people. I'm not quite sure what the what the uh, the purpose of it is. However, everything's uh, pretty straightforward thus far. Nothing crazy. There she is. She. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Oh, hey. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Why, thank you, Athena. You are wise indeed. Ah, uh, and here, here's where we get to the typical roguelike elements. Uh, randomized loot drops, or, or power-ups. So let's see, Athena here is giving us either your attack is strong and can deflect, your you cast damages foes in a small area and can deflect, your dash deals damage and can deflect. So what does deflect mean? Turns foes attacks back on against them. Um, I assume that only affects projectiles. Hmm. So let's go with attacks or deflect. Can deflect. Hear me all the way where you are, goddess. But thank you. Yeah, Athena is not quite. Uh, I'm not sure how she got us a message in Tartarus, but that's not a, typically her her realm of uh, her realm of occupation. She uh, she typically does not uh, inhabit Tartarus, as far as I know. Oh wow! Okay, so those so those spikes uh, everywhere that I did not want to run into. <laughs> We have some purple crystals now. Okay, so as with all, it has its own reward. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, I, so it looks like these kind of tell you what the next room is going to provide you. So, let's see. I guess it's pomegranates. Not quite sure what those are for. And uh, some kind of health power up, I would assume. Uh, let's go with pomegranates and kind of check out what pomegranates are for. 
Uh, as I was saying, uh, at the bottom right there, we have some currency. It appears we have uh, multiple forms of currency, as it is with, typical with, with a lot of roguelikes. Uh, they 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 will typically have some kind of uh, uh, currency system to do various types of upgrades, and that guy's moved a little bit faster than I thought he would for a large fellow, but. Uh, Yeah, it seems like we can stun lock him pretty well. As long as we keep hitting them. Palm of power. It is pomegranates. Well, okay, what's it do? Good enough to eat. Ah, they're uh, they're uh, upgrades for our upgrades. <laughs> they're upgrades for our upgrades. So it increases our attack damage even more. Excellent. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while since I've dealt with this stuff, uh, but I, uh, especially my youth, was uh, quite into uh, Greek mythology and the, the, the Pantheon and the, all of the various uh, gods and goddesses and monsters and stuff like that. So this is a, uh, maybe be a little bit of a refresher course for me. It's been, like I said, it's been quite some time since I uh, had, uh, I uh, studied, studied that stuff. So it looks like we can have more of that purple currency or keys. Uh, so let's see what keys are about. Actually, I should ch I should check out how the deflecting works. Uh, we have deflecting, so we might as well give it a shot, right? So, come on, shoot at me, little guy. Oh, okay, so not th not that bad. Uh, our weapon has a good amount of reach on it, so it's not so difficult to uh, not so difficult to uh, hit it before it hits us. So we gain plus one I purple key. Use this. I don't know. You're you're asking the wrong person if you expect me to give you an answer, sir. Uh, so it's a just a key. I guess it's another kind of currency that we collect. I wonder if we it goes to our hub system. Uh, maybe it might not be for our actually unlocking things in the run. It might be for unlocking things when we uh, whenever we inevitably die and go to wherever we go when we die. So I'm playing this with the controller. It seemed uh, very fitting for this particular type, particular type of game to to do that. Uh, mouse and keyboard. I, I don't think I would like like uh, playing this kind of game on on a mouse and keyboard control scheme. Yeah, but so I, I held off playing this game for a long time, uh, mainly because um, well, it was like an, an Epic exclusive for a good long while, and uh, I didn't want to get it on the Epic Game Store. So now that it's on the other platforms, I've got it on the other platforms. Sure, I know of. Well, several really. Anyway, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Uh, so this one, if it's an archer, is it going to be um, Artemis? I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Uh, we can only hope. So let's see what let's see what Artemis gives us. So it increases our she so she's all about critical damage. Okay. So let's see. Any damage you deal has a chance to be critical, but a very very small chance. Um, let's see. It increases your special damage by forty percent and gives you twenty percent chance for critical. Your cast seeks foes with ten percent chance to do criticals. And it boosts our cast damage and we give critical chance. So, um. Let's, uh. Let's go with, uh, the cast thing. Yeah, so so it seems like you, um. You kind of want to focus on one type of thing, like. like. I, I know I'm not doing that now. Uh, but it seems like you want to focus like on one type of attack that you, that you really want to use. I'm hurt. Can't heal myself. But I can fight. But as I was saying, uh, this game was on Epic Game for Source. That's an exclusive for a year, uh, and I didn't want to support that, so I didn't get the game at that point. But I have a game now, and uh, it seems like something that you can just 
kind of, you know, not not have to super dedicate yourself to, but you can just sink, sink, like, you know, sit down for, sit down for a brief period of time and just kind of uh, enjoy yourself, have a good time with it. So I uh, look forward to that. <laughs> It'll be great. Oh, he's a special one. Okay. Oh, I dashed to a wall. I didn't know I could do that. The underworld's power on my authority. The underworld's power, you say? All right. So, so he mentioned. Uh, he didn't mention earlier that he has no way to heal himself. So I wonder if that's a, in general, like there is no way to heal at all, or just we don't have that unlocked yet, just yet. Uh, looks like a goblet of wine, maybe? Oh, yeah. Oh, my dear lord, you guys are everywhere. Whew. This is rough. I'm almost dead. <laughs> oh, they're all, they're all armored. Oh, god. Okay, that was a bit rough. Yeah. Holy shit, the death animation. Uh, that's intense. That's intense. <laughs> Whoa, my god. Damn it. Huh. I'm home. The house of Hades. Yes, you can't attack. On, everyone. Don't mind me. Yeah, it's fine. No, no, I did not die. I did not die in an embarrassing way, I swear. Who are you? Welcome to the House of Hades. Ah. Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Yeah, at least once. <laughs> uh, hello, Hyp Hypnos, uh, god of dreams. Some of us more than others. Uh, what do you do here? Back already. Oh. Is that our dad? Is our dad disapproving of us? Stupid boy. Yeah. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how was your wanton ransacking of my domain? Well, all right. Got 20 purple things on the key. Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go. See for yourself. Ah, so we're trying to ascend out of hell. I see. Yeah, I guess uh, being down here for your entire life would eventually get rather dreary. <sighs> you can pet the doggo. There's a good boy. That's the most important thing. Fortunate surfer sees something in you. Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. Yeah, only one out of the three heads is uh, melancholy. I you wonder what we did to him. For me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. Oh, he just wants to leave him behind. Is that the problem? Oh, you've returned. I have. Don't think I'm welcome in there. Stay out of there. Well, okay, hey, oh, all right. No worries. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances, remember your training out there. The pain of death is but another obstacle. Yeah. Pain is just a barrier to push through. <laughs> so Achilles, the forgotten hero. He's not forgotten. Uh, we remember him even to the day. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. Hey, are you trolling me? Don't you troll me, ghost. I'll... Well, I can't kill you, because we're in the house, but I'll, I will stare at you very menacingly. The house of Hades. That dark and lavishly appointed lair of the underworld's king is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. Indeed. You know I can hear you, old man. <laughs> oh, we can, hear them. we can hear them the raider. Ah. Okay, so these are... I wonder if they uh, impact our gameplay in any way. 
it looks like trophies that you can uh, acquire or maybe unlock or something. So maybe uh, maybe in future runs we'll get to see what that's about. There's a chair back here. It looks like uh, somebody should be in it. Oh me, I should I'll be in it. Down. I won't want to get back up. Oh, I can't sit in it. It's too relaxing. It's far too relaxing. Oh hey, is that Persephone? Do not despair, oh. child. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. We made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. Alright, so this is Nyx, uh, who I believe in the mythology is the lady who uh, drags her dress across the night sky to bring, a, bring, a, bring about the stars. Uh, I can't remember what else she does, but uh, I think that's uh, I think it's the basis of, of her her responsibilities. I believe it, Nex. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Oh, we're, we're on a secret mission. Yes, we are. Then go. On a secret mission that no one is allowed to know. Ah, and there's the, uh, looks like the, uh, pomegranate tree. Grown for a Persephone, I would imagine. Hey, room. I'm back. And this is our room. With all of our little exploits, we've got tons of demon skulls, treasures. The bed chambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray. Despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up, <laughs> of course, we're a little messy. Oh, come on, it's not that bad, is it? It's pretty bad. You got kind of piles of stuff just kind of laying everywhere around here. It's, uh, it's pretty messy. So let's go check out the mirror and see what this uh, see what this does. Night and darkness guide me. Interesting. All right, so. That gives us extra lives. Interesting. Okay. Restore a small amount of health when you exit the chamber. And then deal bonus attack and special damage when striking foes from behind. Interesting. And we can unlock... Oh, we unlock our level 2 talents uh, with keys. So yeah, so we get 5 keys and we unlock extra tiers of talents. Uh, very cool. Excellent. So... Let's see, the, our greater reflex is you can do extra dashes in a row. Um, I'm sure that will be useful as well. I'm sure there are attacks eventually at some point where uh, being able to dodge uh, many times in a row is very, very useful. Uh, for right now, um, let's do Chthonic Vitality. And... Um, I don't know that I'll be able to do be positional enough to to do this, uh, and I would like to unlock this death defiance thing. It would be nice to be able to have extra lives uh, in future runs. Seems very useful. See you, Mira. But in any case, uh, I think if we go out here, that starts another run. Okay. Oh no, it doesn't. Uh, holy shit! This is a whole. New section. That is nice artwork. This. That is nice artwork. Let's get past the wretched shades of Tartarus. Easier said than done. And doubtless I'll be running into Meg. Oh, not Meg. The flame ought to be just beyond. Find a way up to Elysium from there, and after that. All right. Let's give it another shot. I can escape from the courtyard back there. All right. So, I was wrong. We. Go. I can escape through that pink window there. Ah, so that's a, that's how we start another run. Okay. Um, let's see. What is this? No keepsakes yet. Ah, we can. Uh, well, unlock. Give someone. Give someone one of those things to earn this keepsake. Okay. Uh, I actually have seen this. I think this is. Um, can't remember what the item's called, but you the the NPCs that are here in. Uh, in Hades' house with us, uh, you give them those things, and it unlocks uh, power-ups here. So we just haven't got there yet. So we have this sword unlocked already. 
Uh, we can lock the bow. So I think I might as well go ahead and do that. Seems like unlocking the other there weapon we types is a good idea. The heart seeker. Let's deal some death. Over here. What the? What? Uh, hi. What? Um, hold square to fire. Triangle volley fire. Power shots and press scroll to dash strike. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the smart talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. Uh, you want me to kill you? I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? <laughs> do you have your paperwork in order? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. I mean, well, if you, you insist. Yeah, I was going to say it. Okay, so if you release it right at that flash, you... A little bit, I did a little too much. I'm sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> I, got you pretty good. I was kind of worried actually. I thought you were dead for sure. All right, so we have a sword and our, our bow. Uh, anyway, okay, so that was uh, that was the first run. <laughs> uh, I didn't went about as well as expected. Uh, your first run in these things typically don't go uh, insanely well, but uh, thank you all for watching. And um, next time we will start out, and I'll, I'll give the bow a good give the good the bow a good run. Uh, hope to see you all then. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.